Hello, everybody, and welcome. Can I start that over? <laughs> yeah, you can do whatever you want because you're one of the best. You are live. <laughs> I'm leaving it. And bye bye. <laughs> I'm leaving it. I bet you can leave it. I feel like it's more personal to say hi to you, not hello, everybody. So I, I, you actually taught me that. Yeah. I like saying hello to you, not to um, a big group. I think it's more personal and I'm trying to do that. So next time I ram you. we're going to say you <laughs> and welcome to second level, um, second level impact. My name is Candace Chesla and I'm sitting here with Miss Patty Catter. And we are here today to talk about holidays. <laughs> I thought you were just going to jump in and say Halloween, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to talk about holidays today. And, um, obviously we are in the mood for Halloween, um, because that is pending. So it is one of my favorites. So I'm super happy that we started off with that. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite? Um, I think Christmas is my favorite, mm -hmm. but I do love getting dressed up. So I mixed my Christmas, my dressing up last year and I was dressing up like an elf on the shelf. But that's a whole nother ball game for Halloween. Um, no, <laughs> that'd be a great <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> so in November I started and it was a crazy, crazy time last year. Cause I had just had a surgery in November mm -hmm. last year mm -hmm. and I popped right out of that and went right into my friend Colleen, making me an elf on the shelf costume. Nice. Yeah. You have someone who can but, make a costume for oh you. Oh my gosh. Yes. And she's going to make you one for this mm -hmm. year. So we can put it all over the internet. Extra tall, please. <laughs> like buddy, the elf. <laughs> that's fantastic yeah. you know I so I love Halloween because I loved I loved my children and how they experienced it and they had fun and our neighbor had the best Halloween like walk through her house and you'd reach in a box and you'd feel bones but they were oh. chopped up carrots like carrot sticks yeah and uh you'd reach inside and feel like um in intestines and it'd be like those jelly ball things that you put on top of ice cream you know you know what I mean they're like not like in the boba drinks right kind of kind of like that okay. kind of like that um salmon eggs yeah <laughs> Why would you waste salmon eggs? You can do the best fishing with salmon eggs. Actually, you can, uh, salmon eggs, if you, um, uh, smoke them. Oh, mm -hmm. so good. Oh, but I digress. Mm -hmm. That's the story about Alaska. So for Halloween, I just love the fun of it and the energy of it. And for me, the most important is Easter mm -hmm. because my life is kind of centered around the um, celebration of resurrection day. But for just straight up fun for no reason, Halloween takes the cake. Mm -hmm. I love Halloween. Mm. I do. It's just really fun to dress up. I mean, so the first year that we lived here in Florida, I dressed up. In Michigan, it was okay to dress up scary in our mm -hmm. neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It was fine. Well, here, all the tiny little kids, they're so innocent in my neighborhood, apparently. Oh. So I dressed up. I like had this pumpkin face and this black and I go sit outside and the first little girl who came up to the door, she started crying because she was so scared. So I had to hurry up and come in and like change my whole outfit and everything. Aww. I felt bad. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> well, I learned to love Halloween a second time when my daughter, uh, we lived in this great neighborhood and she went out and she was dressed up like a hobo. And then I saw her about 30 minutes later and she was dressed up like a ballerina. And then I saw her 30 minutes later and she was dressed up like Wonder Woman. Wow. And then I saw her 30 minutes later and she went through seven costumes that night. Wow. And that was when she understood capitalism <laughs> and the importance of ingenuity. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I was abs I was so impressed. We had neighbors for a week saying, you know, your daughter, she does realize we recognized <laughs> her, right? oh Isn't my that gosh great? that's amazing that is so cool <laughs> yeah and they dressed up my son had um the youngest mm -hmm. had long blonde curly hair so they put my daughter's pink dress on oh him and I just thought it was funny and cute and then this person walks by and she said oh can I take can I take a picture of your daughter she's so beautiful <laughs> And I didn't have a heart to tell her that's my son because um, it was his Halloween costume. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it was pretty funny, but oh I do love goodness. Halloween. It is fun. I don't know. I've been a vampire a bunch of times. <laughs> it's easy. I've been a cat a bunch of times. It's uh -huh. easy. 
What is the craziest outfit that you've used or dressed up as? Um, I am a very conservative. You're shocked, I know. But I don't do anything usually very crazy. I did um, Wonder Woman back in like 2000, maybe. Um, the um, there, I, oh, Someone's not going to like this, but it was the, probably the best couples outfit I'd ever seen. One of them dressed up like Bruce Jenner and one dressed up like Caitlyn <laughs> Jenner. It was so, that's so creative yeah. to have a couple do that. Yeah. That's like so it funny. was, it was super creative. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that's a great way. Of I it. just, I was like, <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't do costumes very well. My daughter is very creative and does like the, she'll do a skeleton face really well, or she can create scars or any, any kind of theatrical thing. Mm -hmm. Um, and this year, every year she's like, I am doing your, you very scary this year, mom. And so maybe this will be the year. It has to. Yep. Yep. I want pictures. We, <laughs> we want those pictures. Go to second level impact for those pictures Please. around Halloween, Halloween time. Please. So. And those are the big ones. So do you have any um, some people love Thanksgiving or Christmas. Do you have one, uh, like a tradition that you tend to do in your family? Yeah. I mean, it's not as intense as it was when I was younger. So when I was younger, we would go to my grandma's house for Christmas Eve and then Christmas day at our house for, um, just the immediate family. But it never failed that every year since I was really little, um, my brother and I used to sneak into my parents' room before Christmas like a couple of weeks before and we would try to go through all of the presents to see what was in there yeah. and then pretend like we were super surprised on Christmas day. Um, but they started figuring it out as we got older and they started hiding the presents a lot better. Nice. So, you know, yeah. oddly, my kids were not, they liked the surprise, so they would not look. Mm -hmm. That's the weirdest thing. Cause I wanted to look, I would shake boxes. I would try to peek through, mm -hmm. You know, and yeah, my kids, peel the just, tape. yes, peel the tape. Oh my goodness. Absolutely guilty of that. Mm -hmm. We didn't do Christmas Eve presents, but I know a lot of families do one Christmas Eve present. Do you mm -hmm. do that? Um, well, we went to my grandma's house for Christmas Eve mm -hmm. and it was kind of cool because my, both of my grandmas, so my dad's side and my mom's side would go to my grandma's on my dad's side, um, which was really fun because all the aunts and uncles and cousins and everybody would get together and we would have so many presents. Oh my goodness. My grandma used to buy this huge box and she would fill it though with like socks and underwear and pajamas mm -hmm. and slippers and uh, uh, things that you're going to use, mm -hmm. but we still liked it. Mm -hmm. It was a fuzzy little pajamas yeah. and slippers yeah I love stockings I mean yeah. stockings can get so expensive oh my gosh yeah they're so expensive but I love stockings I don't know what it is but every year I get absolutely the biggest thrill out of of finding things um not just tchotchke but like you know things they'll use or need and and sometimes that's where your jewelry goes or yeah. but yeah I love the stockings I, yeah. I truly do I um I was looking up kind of the holidays, these are federal holidays, some of them. And it was in night, I'm sorry, 1870, 1870, that Congress initially declared New Year's Eve, the 4th of July, Thanksgiving and Christmas as federal holidays. So they have been around um, for a while. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, my math's not great. But I think that's 153 years. <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah. And, and it's funny, because sometimes I feel like we haven't been on the earth that long. Right. Mm -hmm. And then other times when you're actually thinking about something mm -hmm. like that, you're like, wow, mm -hmm. that is a while, you yeah. know, it's a while, but in the grand scheme of things, it's really not right. It's a drop in the hat. Yeah. I was listening to, um, a tape that my grandpa recorded and they were talking around about the holidays and things like that. And all of a sudden this great, great uncle that I had, um, got on and was talking and it was in the seventies. It was 1974. I think mm -hmm. it was the year I was born. And they were talking and I was like, holy crap, that's my great, great uncle from world war one. Wow. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> when you look at it, like I remember him when I was mm -hmm. little and I'm like, I remember some, I remember somebody from world war one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will. Um, and this, I feel like I'm about to one up oh. you, but that's not the intent, but, <laughs> but I'm, but, gonna but I'm gonna, <laughs> um, my grandfather, not my great grandfather, my grandfather mm -hmm. was born in 1887. You can have that. <laughs> 1887 oh. with my grandfather. So yeah. um, my grandmother and grandfather got married when she, I think it was like the first Anna Nicole story to be quite honest. Because <laughs> she was a really beautiful model. He was, 
he was he, he was very comfortable um, yeah. but he was 63 awesome. and she was 29 wow yeah and so um but he was born in 1887 and he lived until 1990 Oh my God. Yeah. And so if you think about the, the durate, I mean, that is yeah. incredible yeah. to me. Um, yeah. He was around for all of those first holidays oh, practically. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. Think about that. I mean, the civil war hadn't been over long. Wow. I mean, the, we, the reverberations mm -hmm. from major events that so he lived through the end of the reconstruction after the civil war, world war one, world war two, the great depression, Korea, Vietnam. Can you imagine going from nothing flying to everything flying phones? I mean, just the extreme um, change in technology during that time. Right. And imagine the toys at Christmas, right? You have like wooden toys mm -hmm. that they were given. They might get one Christmas toy right. or something, you know, and nowadays, my gosh, have you seen living rooms across America on Christmas? Mm. And I mean, even me, when I was little, my parents were, they made okay. You know, they made out okay. Um, middle-class blue collar worker, mm -hmm. my dad. And, um, yeah, our living room, we would wake up in the morning for Christmas and just presents galore, mm -hmm. tons and tons of presents everywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, try to do that a little more thoughtful now that the mm -hmm. children are older. And then, you know, and when you go to other countries and you see kind of the buying a gift just to have a gift, isn't my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. I try to be pretty thoughtful in the gift giving. Mm -hmm. And as the children get older, I want them to participate in it. Mm -hmm. But even when they're younger, like I look back at the first grandchild for my husband's side of the family. Mm -hmm. I mean, for one child, it was so much. And for that Christmas, he just sat and played with the paper in the boxes. Yeah. Like that was it. And you know, if you think about it, if you have like young grandkids, I'd put it in a bond, put mm -hmm. it in savings of 529, do something like that until they get a little bit older. Cause really it, it is kind of an egregious not waste of money, but mm -hmm. it's a lot of money that's, that's spent on Christmas cakes. It definitely is. Yeah. I don't even remember most of my Christmas presents. I do remember my teddy bear. I still have my teddy bear to this mm -hmm. day. Um, but mm -hmm. more, more often than not, I mean, I don't remember a lot of my presents. Mm -hmm. I always remember people and situations, mm -hmm. but presents, I, I don't know. Yeah. And that's the thing is I think their traditions with family and having family together is pretty awesome. Um, but there's so many more holidays we have, we have, um, so if we kind of go around it, you know, new year's, that's yeah. always a big one. I think when you're younger, I haven't seen a new year's in maybe a decade. <laughs> um, I'm like, Oh, it's a new year. How about that? <laughs> yeah. I'm not one for big, huge parties either. Mm -hmm. So like yeah. new year's, whatever. I remember staying up a few times and watching the, the show on TV, mm -hmm. you know, the, the ball yeah. drop, yeah. <laughs> the ball, um, yeah. I tell you what, one year and coach snap, this is for you and all the Georgetown women basketball players back. And I think it was our year group. It was either 94 or 95. Mm -hmm. And we just had a bad practice the next day. We had practice on new year's day and I coach snap thought that we had been out partying and we didn't, we were all asleep at like 10 30. We just had a bad practice mm -hmm. and he smoked us. Oh, I mean, man. he smoked us and we're like, we didn't do anything. I mean, for once yeah. we were actually <laughs> behaving. Um, so I remember that new year's cause that was one of the first ones I'd probably skipped in quite a while. Um, but yeah, so new year's is maybe it, that's why I don't like new year's. It's all your fault coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just never really have gotten into mm -hmm. new year's now. Uh, what is it? Super bowl. That's uh, almost like a holiday. That is uh, I mean, it's a holiday around my house. Yeah. It yeah. almost is like a holiday. Yeah, yeah. We should bring that up to the congressional, um, caucus. <laughs> I'd be surprised if somebody hasn't done that already. Um, so then after we have Valentine's uh, day, yeah. Oh my gosh. I, you know, Valentine's day hallmark. I don't know how much money you make off of that, but it has a lot. And then the chocolates and the flowers, I would much rather have chocolates and flowers delivered on a random Tuesday mm -hmm. or a random July yeah. or what's today. <laughs> yeah. So if you DM us, we'll give you our address and <laughs> you can send flowers, candies, anytime, <gasps> not candies for me, protein drinks and flowers oh, anytime or jewelry. Yeah. Oh yes. Yes. Jewelry. I mean, of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. really that, that whole February 14th is such a mm -mm. jam. It really is. It really is. And, um, yeah, so that's, that is not my favorite, but I get it. I sort of, but yeah, I get it for those who need somebody to tell them. Yeah. Yeah. So. And if you're one of those, like we wouldn't have meshed well anyway. <laughs>
Let's see what's coming up in March. Yeah. So, St. Patty's Day. Yeah. Apparently we celebrate it much harder, much better than they do anywhere else in the world. I've heard that. Yeah. And I've seen it, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I really, I don't do a whole lot for St. Patty's mm-hmm. Day. I'll put a little green on. Mm-hmm. So you don't get pinched. Do you remember that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I do. I, you know, I never really did get pinched though, because I always just knew like, I am not going to be caught without the green. I, th- so. I think it was, a. I think that's just like little kids ways to mm-hmm. flirt with each other. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like hundred percent. Like throwing rocks at them on the playground or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and what's in April? I'm never going to miss it. I mean, when is Easter though? Easter is in April. Easter can be April or May. May. Yeah. 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 And that is, I mean, that's the most holy holidays for Christians. And, you know, now there's a big push to call it resurrection Sunday. Mm -hmm. Um, so good Friday through Sunday, of course. Um, that's, that is my favorite. I am getting more and more away from the Easter eggs and the commercialization of it and more into the, the reality of what it means, Mm -hmm. um, for, for Christians. And then we have, um, after that, oh, Juneteenth, that is our newest, um, that is the newest federal holiday brought in, um, it's Juneteenth is June 19th and it celebrates the end of slavery and, um, president Biden actually signed that into law, I believe last year, I could be wrong. Um, but there's, there's that, which was, it was huge and significant. And then, um, July. Fourth of July. I have a few favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, And they have different vibes and meanings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, one of the biggest things in Michigan to do was go to the 4th of July because we didn't have very many warm months. So it was like a nice warm month. You could go Mm -hmm. picnic, take the whole day and just go. We would go to Bay City, Michigan and watch fireworks. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Mm -hmm. Um, I love the small towns for Mm -hmm. 4th of July. I love the small town parades. I love seeing the little kids get so excited. I really, I really enjoy that. We did, um, I, I, we've moved around enough where it's different town, but just that same enthusiasm, that community and family. Um, but then, you know, I went to school and in college and, uh, at Georgetown in Washington, DC. So I have attended the really big fireworks display sitting there on the mall, um, yeah, yeah, by the Washington monument and just watching the fireworks go off. And it, it was truly, it's a once in a lifetime thing because it's crowded and packed and hot and you're tired. And... We're going next year. <laughs> okay. Let's we can do, do that. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you get there early, just be prepared to stay and then be prepared to well, Uber there, Uber out. Yeah. Sit in traffic, but it's really kind of an amazing experience and the history that is there. It's definitely worth doing once or twice yeah yeah let's do it yeah for sure what so november have? we're back to november no right? or, wait we're in we you know oh. what we missed we missed memorial day oh my gosh and that's a huge mm-hmm. huge one how yeah. do we do that uh, you know well because i mean probably, yeah. yeah we obviously are <laughs> always in need of coffee <laughs> Um, yeah. So Memorial day. Yeah. Memorial day is a tough one for a lot mm-hmm. of people, especially if you've ever lost a loved one or a friend in war and it's an important one. And so oh. many people don't realize like what Memorial day is really what it's about. Mm-hmm. Um, so Memorial day is not to tell military veterans, thank you for your service because many people that you're telling, thank you for your service may have lost a loved one or friend in war. And it's not, a super happy day for anybody that I know Mm -hmm. that said, I also know that the veterans that I know and like Ken, for example, um, he doesn't want you not to have a nice barbecue or Mm -hmm. something like that. He does want you though, to remember the reason that we have Memorial day. It's Mm -hmm. not actually like the three day party weekend. Like that's just not what it is to us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I think this is one of the things where it's being vocalized, Mm -hmm. just trying to remind people that Memorial day is a memorial. However, I hope that, uh, none of us, none of veterans, none of the families say, well, that is not what this is about. And you should learn your history and stuff, you know, none of that. Like I am always thankful when people tell me, thank you for your service, or they say happy Memorial day. Um, you know, it's not, if it's not someone's realm or world, 
you know, it's, it's just not in their purview. And I, and I get that. Mm -hmm. Um, but it is, you know, just a nugget of information to keep in the back of your mind. And if you say happy Memorial day to me, all I'm going to do is smile and say, thank you. Do you ever say stuff like, you know, thank you. I really appreciate that. And I know a lot of people who, you know, lost loved ones. Do you softly, softly? yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> softly, um, turn that mm -hmm. and just, you know, and if, and they may get it and they may not, right. but yeah, definitely not. I, you know, I, I'm kind of over the, well, you mm -hmm. offended me or well, don't you know? No, I have yeah. a thousand things to know in my yeah. life and what ticks you off or what uh, strikes a chord with you. I may not even be aware of it. And it's not ignorance on my part. It is just, this is my world. And this is the only spectrum I have to view life through. Mm -hmm. So, you know, definitely when we say Memorial day is a somber day, but it is a day of reflection and celebrating, you know, people we lost mm -hmm. and veterans that we lost. Um, and just remembering kind of that, that, um, the sacrifice that not just they made it's their families that really are the ones that, um, struggle through those kind of days. So thank you when you say it, but it is, that is a great idea to find that delicate way to say, thank you so much. You know, we definitely are, are taking the time today to remember and memorialize the ones that we've lost and the people before us. So I think that's a really great point, Patty. Yeah. For us, we don't go to parties or anything on Memorial day weekend. Um, Ken did lose a lot of friends in war. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's a really heavy time for us, mm -hmm. but that said, um, we want people to enjoy the day because the whole reason that we lost our loved ones or friends in war is because that we want people to celebrate freedom. Mm -hmm. So absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And that kind of brings us forward to, um, it's, it is interesting how people get Memorial day, labor day and veterans day all mixed yeah. up, Yes, <laughs> but so labor day in September, um, um it's in November, <laughs> no labor day, September. Or, or veterans day. day. Yes. Veterans day is November. <laughs> Yes, yes. So we Labor Day is September. Labor Day is September. Yep. And that is just um that wasn't one of the first four, mm -hmm. but I um I I I it's probably again my own little perspective. I'm like, yay, it's a day for people who work hard to take off. Mine was like, yay, we don't have to go to school until after Labor Day. That was the uh, only thing I knew. Yeah, that. and don't wear white. Remember that old oh, yeah. oh yeah. And still to yeah, this day, it. I'm like I live in Florida. Can I not wear white shoes? Oh, you can wear white year round here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. If you live in Florida, if you wear shoes, you're kind of ahead of the game. <laughs> I mean, that's true. That's so true. I have that socks is. on right now because the air conditioning's on. <laughs> um, and so we have, so we Labor Day and then Halloween, mm -hmm. which I believe we have celebrated and discussed and then Veterans Day. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, veteran. No, oh, well, thank you. That is a, um, that is the day that is the most welcome for that. Um, for me, the irony is my father who served in both the air force, he served in the air force in Vietnam, and then he served in the coast guard during peacetime and he passed away on veterans day. Oh, wow. Yep. So it's a double, double it's, whammy. it's a double whammy for mm -hmm. us. And it is, um, you know, always on November 11th. Mm -hmm. And so that day, I almost wish I didn't remember. Sometimes people really want to know when their loved ones died. Mm -hmm. I don't, cause I don't want to dwell on it, but that it's there. There's no not knowing that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, my friend's husband was killed on, um, veterans day. Mm -hmm. And it's always like one of those things you, I'm, I'm very careful now on social media, like saying happy veterans day mm -hmm. only because I also know my friend and her family's on my Facebook and I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. cause it's not, it's not all happy for mm -hmm. her, you know? Yeah. It's a thank you it's to a, those who serve, I think. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, thank and you absolutely. Mm -hmm. And well-deserved too. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. what about all the meals that are given out at restaurants uh, nowadays? Yeah. Like Applebee's. Applebee's shout out. does a great job. Yeah, yeah definitely. And there, there are quite a few places that mm -hmm. are, and I'm so thankful because my dad never spoke about um, his experiences in Vietnam until I asked him, I had a project my senior year of high school. And I ask him, and back in the day, and not that it's good or bad, but men typically didn't cry or show emotions around their right. children. Right. And he cried. And it's the only second time I've ever seen him cry in his life. One was at his parents' funeral and, and this time. And he told me, and it was pretty horrible. And my mother tore me up mm. for asking about, and I was like, I didn't know because yeah. I had, 
we'd never had this conversation before. I never knew how, how traumatic and impactful and, and the people who served before us just, you know, my hat's off because they didn't get the, um, appreciation that we have been so fortunate. Thank you so much, um, for, um, allowing us to serve with, you know, honor and dignity. And it wasn't afforded always to people, particularly in Vietnam. Um, so I feel very fortunate to be in this day and age and be able to celebrate, um, with other veterans and feel good about what we, you know, our choice Mm -hmm. to try to protect our democracy, to Mm -hmm. try to protect our country and the freedoms we have, um, here. So yeah, I'm, I'm super thankful for that. And the, we missed a couple, but we'll get back to that. But the last one kind of on the calendar that we, as we've gone through it, Thanksgiving, it wasn't declared until 1941 to be the fourth Thursday in Thanksgiving. I mean, the fourth Thursday of November. Mm -hmm. So that was, um, that's a little bit newer to have that, that set. Right. But you know what we forgot? Well, we forgot some different holidays for religious, other religions. Yes. So. We, Yom Kippur, Hanukkah, mm-hmm. Orthodox Christian. Um, uh, and I'm, I, I am dying because I'm forgetting. Um, I'm like, what did I we know? Forget? What did uh, we oh, my children. Um, you, you were missing some, some major ones. Ramadan. Ramadan. Yes. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Ramadan. I have three children who are Afghan Muslims. So, um, we have all kind of cultural, um, fun and diversity in our house. And they fast for a month during daylight hours. And, um, yeah, so it, it's a pretty big, we, we celebrate a lot in our house, like almost yeah. year round, but we forgot mother's day. Oh gosh. Yeah. And father's day. Yeah. 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 Do you like, do you like mother's day? I have such mixed feelings. Mm-hmm. It's like a, uh, it's like a Valentine's day for moms mm-hmm. or dads, mm-hmm. um, is kind of how I look at it. But it is kind of nice. Actually, next to my bedstand, I have a, a card that my daughter gave me when she was really little. And she just found it the other day when she was going through her old tote full of cards and things. Aww. And so she put it over by my my bedstand. And it was so, so sweet. And it said something about like, Happy Mother's Day. I mm-hmm. can only hope that I grow up to be half the woman as you or something like that. Aww. And it's all spelled wrong and everything. But it was Aww. so cute. So, I mean, it's nice to be able to have mm-hmm. those cards, right? Yeah. But I also feel like it's a holiday from Hallmark. Yeah. So. And there's a lot of pressure on the kids to call. I mm-hmm. know that's been a, you know, a deal in our house yeah. and, and we have mothers, so mm-hmm. it's not like it's our day. It's yeah. shared with your mother-in-law and your grandmothers and everybody. Mm-hmm. So I'm not a, but when they're younger, it's the sweetest. Mm-hmm. I was in Iraq for mother's day and, um, and I got a care package and they made a flower pot and the flowers in it. And I still have it in my office oh, today. It is the sweetest thing. And that, you know, so when they're yeah. younger yeah, and teaching them kind of rules and manners and appreciation and not taking things for granted, I think that's mm-hmm. where mothers and father's day are kind of important. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And you know, <laughs> what about this? I don't know about your husband. I'm totally going to do this because he doesn't listen. Um, so Ken is always like, well, I'm not your mother. So for a long time, he didn't really do anything for mother's day, Yeah. but then I, he realized on his own, like, oh, but if I don't teach the kids how to do it, then they won't. Absolutely. So you're raising men, you're yeah. raising men and ladies, and you're teaching them uh, that the world's bigger than them, that it doesn't revolve around them. There are other people's feelings to consider that second level, truly second level impact of your actions. And when you are um, thinking outside yourself, you, you grow and you become stronger and a better person when you realize that you have to take the time to consider other people's feelings and making someone feel special can really help you <laughs> help you because you make yeah. them feel special. You know, they want to reciprocate. So it's kind of a, a kind of a nice synergy, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is. And, you know, um, and honestly, he didn't think about it that way when the kids were super small. But it was like an aha moment, like, Mm -hmm. oh, this is going on. And the reason I bring it up is not to throw Ken under the bus or anything. It's actually because if you're listening and maybe you're a new parent, you don't think about these things like, oh, well, that's not my, my mom. So Mm -hmm. I'm not going to really do anything. That's like my kids. And when they're older, they can make the choice. They can make the choice. But if you teach them when they're little, 
I think mm-hmm. you're going to have a lot better outcome there. Absolutely. And you know, the last one that, I mean, well, there's Cinco de Mayo, there's yeah, Flag oh Day, gosh, yeah. there's National Coffee Day, but I don't know when it is. I need to, I need to really put that one in stone and put it on my calendar. I just keep drinking my coffee today and I keep, like, oh my gosh, do I have coffee slash? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and then the, the last ones that I'm kind of curious about and, and we'll wrap it up is why do we have national son and national daughter's day? I mean, isn't every day about kids? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about national kid day? Oh my, oh my heavens. And they're close together too. So there's like daughter's day and then there's yeah. son's day. Yeah. And yesterday I think was national son's day technically. So we're recording out a little bit, but, um, I, I did take extra time yesterday to send Hunter a really nice text message on purpose. Cause I was like, you know what? if they hear too, if mm. that's the other thing though, if they hear on social media or in the news, like, Oh, it's national son's day. And then your parent doesn't even tell mm-hmm. you anything. Then it kind of like, it puts pressure on everybody too. Yeah. Those um, dang holidays. Sometimes they're great. Mm. Sometimes they put too much pressure on us. I think. Zach, Max, Hamim, Sana Ula, Wahid, <laughs> Anthony. I love you boys. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah. 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 I just, I, I tried it to subscribe to kind of forced, but then you see so much in your feed about, you know, their daughters and they're proud of their sons and daughters. I just, I haven't gone there yet. I'm slow to get on bandwagons. I am kind of like the Titanic. It takes me a while to adjust to new things, Um, but eventually I'll get there. So maybe next year. (laughs) Sorry, boys. Or we'll just make our own holiday. Right. And just tell, tell the kids, you know, we don't celebrate those other holidays. Instead, yeah. we have Cheslow Day. We have Cheslow Family Day. Mm-hmm. We are starting a tradition. It's on the odd years. Mm-hmm. We have two weeks blocked off so that future husbands and wives and such, hey, it's just every other year. There's a two week window mm-hmm. and it's on the odd years so that there's no competition about Christmas. And this mm-hmm. is something we are always going to do. And you can have all these other holidays, but we'd really like for the family to kind of join together on, on this day. I, I like it. Mm-hmm. So what do you do, um, in this case? So for example, my oldest daughter, she lives in another state with her husband mm-hmm. and all, all the stuff. Um, her daughter, my her granddaughter, daughter. I will not say that on air again, either. <laughs> uh, I love it's her, her daughter. It's my daughter's it's daughter. My daughter's daughter. My daughter's daughter. And uh, what we do is instead of on Christmas or Christmas Eve, because I also know she has a whole nother family to mm-hmm. worry about. We just literally wing it every year. We wing it. Like, mm-hmm. are we going to have Christmas at home this year? Or are we going to do it somewhere else? Or are we going to do it on mm-hmm. after New Year's? Or mm-hmm. yeah. um, we're super flexible. I think a military family makes it easy to yes. be flexible like that. Yeah. You almost have to, mm-hmm. I mean, you can, as long as it's in the month of December. Oh my gosh. I can't stand it. When I hear a family saying, Oh, so-and-so didn't come to our house on Christmas because they went to their other person's house. And I'm like, Oh my gosh. Mm-mm. Like the most important thing is coming together. Not on what mm-hmm. day it is not keeping track and keeping yeah. score. Yeah. it's a that's a way to make your family not want to visit if you're keeping score. So mm-hmm. Yeah. And I almost guarantee that Jesus wasn't really born on December 25th. I can almost. (laughs) Yeah. So let us know, let us know what you think and your holidays, favorite holidays. And I would really love to see the costume pictures. Mm, Yes. Send them in, send them, DM us, tag us on uh, Instagram, especially I love Instagram the most right now. Um, And our Facebook group, go ahead and post them. I'll put a call out for that. Would love to see it. So thank you everybody for listening and make sure you go to so, uh, oh my gosh, blah, 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 blah. second, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. And pause, break, Hi. reset, <laughs> three, two, one. Not rewind that, you guys. Um, second level impact. Are you sure? Go, go do it. All right. Thanks everybody. Thanks.